They should have punished these Turks before, right after the World War I, to bring to the justice and punish them. Otherwise, if they didn't, if they did punish, we wouldn't have had the massacre of the Jews. This is Aurora's Sunrise, an animated film about Aurora Mardiganian, a true story of how a 14-year-old girl escaped death during the Armenian genocide, fled to New York, and became a silent film star. The Aurora story was one of the rare ones. Anna Sahakian directed the film. Through the dynamic combination of mediums, animation, archival interviews with Aurora herself, and digitally restored footage, this forgotten story becomes vivid again. Sahakin explains it was in 2014 she was doing research for a different project at the Zorian Institute in Canada when she stumbled upon Aurora's testimony, recorded in 1984 when Aurora was 83 years old. Yeah, that serving coming that we took the sweet Andranic part. And that's me, Aurora. Aurora is holding a poster for Auction of the Souls. From 1919, a silent 20-minute film depicting the tragic events of the genocide. Aurora played herself, an orphaned teenager, kidnapped, raped, and then sold into slavery. Through a series of miraculous events, she escaped and moved to New York when she was 17. She told her story to the newspapers and then on the silver screen, reliving the unthinkable trauma. She did it only in order to uh, help other orphans and that the story for me and suffering will be widely known in the world. Auction of the Souls was a box office hit and Aurora, the most unlikely starlet of the silent film era in Hollywood. She also became the face of the aid group Near East Relief, which raised $116 million back then and rescued more than 132,000 orphaned survivors just like Aurora. Unfortunately, it was all short-lived. Following World War I, expanding U.S. and Turkish relations caused any mention of the genocide to fade away. And most copies of Auction of the Souls disappeared. Only in 1994, months after Aurora's death, fragments were discovered. Sahakian is one of few filmmakers to bring it all back to life. Because uh, it was uh, not fair that her story was forgotten. And it's not forgotten only now, it was forgotten also while she was alive. Going beyond the cold facts of the genocide, Sahakian beautifully and uniquely tells the story of not a victim, but a survivor. Aurora's Sunrise premiered at Annecy in 2022, receiving rave reviews and accolades from film festivals around the world. I really think that we need to have strong stories uh, and strong role models from the past. We always hear these victim stories and uh, it's not really giving us strength to move on with our legacy and with our uh, pain.